basement of the institute, a large fish tank facility with a thousand aquariums was built. We're interested in learning how beta cells develop and how beta cells can regenerate so that you can use that information to help make new therapies for diabetes in which researchers are trying to find out ways to get new beta cells from precursor cells within the pancreas or to be able to take stem cells outside of the pancreas to grow in a dish in the lab and to know what are the important genes and proteins that help make those cells into beta cells. These fish have a GFP expressed in the precursors for the beta cells of the pancreas. So these I want to know which ones are homozygous for the transgene. So I'm going to set them up with wild type fish. And then when you get embryos the next day, you can see the clutches of embryos where they all have the transgene. That means one of the parents was a homozygous. So they go in these tanks, and then the fish will actually eat the eggs if they aren't collected because they want to get the protein back. So in these, in this tank, you lift this up, and the eggs fall through. There's holes here. So the fish lay the eggs, and they fall to the bottom, and then you take the fish out, and you collect the eggs from here. You also have to... Um, set up male and females together, so you have to look at them and see which, whether they're male or female, and then set okay, them up. See. It's hard to tell actually, but um, the male fish tend to be a little bit more yellow. They have yellow stripes in the fin, and they tend to be thinner, and then the females have a rounded belly and tend to be whiter, so it's coloring and shape. I'm interested in early stages of development, especially for the gastrulation step. This step is a very important step for developing an embryo because at the beginning of gastrulation the embryo looks like an accumulation of cells and at the end of gastrulation uh, the embryo is an organized fish. So during this stage there happen proliferation, migration and patterning. So we injected this morning an embryo with smooth morpholino. This means that smoothen the protein level is knocked down. And then we, we put the embryos into this dish here. And we try to transplant some cells of this donor embryo in a host embryo. Count the cells at the beginning of gastrulation and then count them again and then we can learn how often these cells will divide. For our transplantation assay we use a very thin needle to soak up cells. So the needle is connected to this tube which the tube is completely filled with oil and by using this micro manipulator I can set the oil level in the needle and this allows me to soak up cells from an embryo. I will connect with the needle to the embryo, to the surface of the embryo, and then I soak up the oil level and therefore we soak up some water, of course, and some cells. Okay, now the cells are in the needle and then I can go to an host embryo and try to release the cells very slowly and gently. Okay, now they are in. We, we have the zebrafish as part of many models um, here in Innsbruck which allows us to approach 
general questions of development and also maybe we try to establish a focus here on regeneration. It is a very nice system to study regeneration.